Hey guys, I'm Jim. I edit photos. Thanks for stopping by. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about Luminar and Skyloom and AI. So this is not a tutorial video. This is a conversation just among friends about what's happening because I think things are, are getting really interesting and AI is getting really good. And uh, on the heels of Luminar AI Update 3 coming out, which if you missed my first look video, it's right there. Things are getting real. This AI I think is getting really good. It's not perfect but it's getting really good. And um, I wanted to talk about a few things. The first thing I wanted to talk about is this. Let me show you this. This is the newsroom on Skyloom.com. And I don't know if you saw this, uh, Skyloom did not make a lot of noise about it, but Ivan Kutanen has become CEO. So Ivan used to be, I don't know his exact title, VP of engineering or something, but great guy. I've been around him a few times, super smart, good photographer. You know, he knows these tools because he's been leading development effort for these tools for a long time. So he helped develop Luminar, he helped develop Aurora HDR, he worked on you know, Intensify and the stuff in the Creative Kit before that. This is an interesting move, he's now CEO. They've moved a product guy to be the top. And I find that really interesting because obviously they're very focused on the product, Luminar being their key product, but this is a guy that knows the product incredibly well, maybe better than just about anybody else. I think that's really interesting. Again, wasn't a lot of noise made about it, but I think that's an interesting move. And what that tells me is it's a signal that they're gonna keep doubling down, and not that this is not really news per se, but they're gonna continue doubling down on AI and the things that they're doing. And they even said in this article here, and you can just get to it on their website, but um, it even said that they're developing an app for iOS and Android. So they're gonna continue expanding the ecosystem and the reach of what they do. And I'm really excited about that. I'm excited about Ivan being CEO. I think he's gonna bring a, an interesting look at things because of his product technology background. And I think we're gonna to continue to see more really cool stuff. Now, what I wanna talk about product-wise is, is the AI. I mean, it's getting better. It's showing up in more places and we're getting more control over it, which sounds a little counterintuitive because, hey Jim, it's AI, it's supposed to do it for me. But uh, despite that, they're giving us tools to control that. So I wanted to talk about a couple of things. And what I'm mostly gonna focus on in this video is how good Sky AI, which is their Sky replacement algorithm and tool, is getting in Luminar AI. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this Sky, and I'm gonna use this same Sky on every example simply because it's a dramatic Sky and not because I like drama, although I do like drama, but because I want to show you uh, a dramatic looking Sky on several photos and let you see kind of what I'm talking about. So the first thing I'm talking about is the masking is getting really, really good. So if you zoom in here on this photo, and it's a terribly sad place, this is Auschwitz uh, outside of Munich, but if you look at this sculpture, I mean, there's so many little places where it could go wrong. And really, it didn't really go wrong. Now there's a little bit of masking cleanup I could do. You have mask refinement tools to fix that, but what I'm talking about here is that this AI, the sky detection, and the AI used to determine where the sky is and where to put the new sky, it's getting really good, my friends. I mean, you look at that, those are clean edges around here and all these different places. I'm really impressed and I find that it's getting better and better. Um, I mean, it makes sense it's gonna get better over time, but even with this release, version 1.3, which is AI, you know, update three, it's gotten really good. Now, again, it's not perfect. I'm not sitting here trying to tell you that it works perfectly every time. That's not the case. I have found examples where it doesn't work as well, but I'm finding more and more that it's really accurate, it's really targeted, and it's doing a really good job. That was the first point I wanted to make about this. Okay, the second thing I wanted to talk about in terms of the accuracy of the masks is um, I, I did a minor adjustment here to the shift, the horizon position, which I'm also gonna talk about here in a minute, but that mask has fit in really well. But here's what I wanted to show you. That's what the photo started like. So if you remember, if you've been using Luminar AI for a while, and before that Luminar 4 with sky replacement, you may recall that if you had a sky like this in the past and you put a new sky in, that old sky used to bleed through and really just show itself through uh, that base layer would basically, you know, the clouds from the base photo, which looked like that, would bleed through and you would see them coming through um, even with the new sky in place. I'm not seeing that nearly as much anymore. That's what I mean by the AI is getting really good. That sky, this one here, I mean, that's a mess. That's a lot of stuff. And yet, when I put this new sky in, that cloud that's right there, 
is gone. Like you don't see it. And same with everything else all around that photo. So let me show you one more time. I mean, take a look around, look at all these different clouds, all these cloud patterns, the texture, the shape, all that kind of stuff. There's a lot going on in that sky. And in previous versions of Luminar, whether it's four or earlier iterations of Luminar AI, I would not choose to replace that sky because it would not look very good. And yet now, boom, new sky, the mask along the horizon is fantastic. And that's just looking really good. So that's what I mean. The AI is getting really good and the algorithm and the machine learning and all these things that you hear, all these terms that none of us probably really understand that well. Whatever it is they're doing, this little magic stuff, it's working. Okay, here's the next thing I want to talk about. Once again, here's the original sky, which was completely nothing. And now the new sky, same sky I've been using, again, for dramatic effect, just to point it out because it's so easy to see because it's such an intense sky. But I started with that. I added this sky, and all I did is I did a shift position here just to lower it a little bit. But here's what I want to talk about. And this is where I mean that the AI is showing up in more places. If you go down here, you have this relight strength, right? So the relight strength is really starting to come in handy because in the past I used to have to go in and do a whole lot of gyrations and maneuvers. And I've got videos about this where I use all these tools and filters to get the bottom of the photo looking like the sky in terms of color match. I don't have to do that as much anymore because relight strength and these kind of things, relight saturation are getting better. But also notice this, as I drag this relight strength, um, you can see the tones changing and it's getting to more closely match the sky. But Here's one thing I want to point out. When I change the vertical position from that, where it's a lot more warmth in the sky, and I go down like that to where there's a lot more blue and it's cooler, notice the foreground tones are changing too. That relight strength, or excuse me, that relight amount and relight strength down here, it's basically adjusting to accommodate the change in light because I changed the position of the sky. So as I go back up, you can see the hills are getting warmer. The hills are alive, right? And now going back down, the hills are getting cooler. So that's what I mean by AI showing up in more places. These tools are getting better and they're helping us get a more accurate portrayal of what we are pretending to have seen with our own eyes. So I'm loving that. I mean, it's a fantastic uh, continual advancements in this tool that I think are making it just, it's gonna be not that far in the future where we're not gonna be able to tell that this guy was replaced. And that's exactly what you want, especially if you're creating an art piece or something like that where you want it, you know, you're blending it. Or if you're using it for uh, dramatic effect or artistic effect on a portrait or whatever it is, everybody uses it for different reasons. But the point is the AI is getting really good. It's showing up in more places. And that's really helping us out quite a bit. So I'm really happy about that. And I got one more example to talk about. And here we go. Here is this photo. And this is, once again, just going to be the same sky. Um, and what I want to talk about here is really a combination of a couple of things I've talked about plus one more. The first thing I talked about was the AI is getting better. The masking is better. Take a look at this. Let me, uh, let me zoom in. Let me go to two. Uh, 300, well, 300, why not? Look at that. That sky is coming in in between all these like little turrets or whatever they are. If I turn this off, you can see gray sky underneath. Turn it back on. You can see sunlight, a streak of sunlight in that sky coming through that hole there. So the masking is getting better. The AI is getting better and more intelligent. This is great for us. It's really helpful. The second thing I said was that the AI is showing up in more places. And so I talked about relight and how that's uh, impacting what your photo is going to look like. So I, I dragged up the relight strength here. And if I start dragging this vertical position down, you can see how that is impacting uh, the relight in the photo, but also the reflection. AI is getting better, showing up in more places, right? So we've talked about that. And the third thing is that you're getting more control over this. I think when this first came out, everyone was like, yeah, AI is taking over. It's going to do everything for me. And it's not. We have more control. And in this release, because you have these additional adjustments in terms of shift here uh, for horizon position and vertical position in the sky orientation area, these are allowing you to better control that reflection and how it looks in your photo. And so you can adjust these things and you can see how the reflection is being impacted down below. And that's a big deal because it's giving us more control. 
the mental you know image that you have of AI is oh rise of the machines they're taking over we're done why bother taking a photo and I don't think that's the case at all it's giving us creative tools that do the hard things for us and give us control over how those hard things are implemented in our photos and that's what I love about this and so I can come in and do those things get my reflection looking the way I want it maybe I want to brighten that up a little bit maybe I want to warm it up maybe I want to come in here and blur the water to get a little softer reflection and sure my photo is too dark well hey I'm going to use another AI tool because while I'm at it I'm going to go ahead and just boost this thing and boom I got a pretty nice looking photo in fact I think I'm going to come down here and I think I'm going to go um, even a little bit warmer and maybe go up here and get in the landscape category a little golden hour I'm making this up as I go my friends I don't have a plan for this photo I need to do some work this is not how do you edit this photo this is me showing you that AI is not taking over it's getting better it's getting more prevalent throughout the app in terms of where it's being used and I think it's giving us more control not less control over our images so that's what I wanted to talk about that I think the future is bright you know and I'm really excited about it I think it's cool that Ivan is CEO he's a great man and I'm sure he's going to do great things for us as users I'm looking forward to this continued innovation that we're seeing and I hope this gives you some ideas about how you can use AI and how you know what AI is friendly it's it's here to stay for starters uh, but regardless it's useful and it doesn't take over the photo you still have control and that's what I wanted to talk about here hope it helps my friends thanks for watching I appreciate it I hope you're doing well and staying safe thanks for hanging out I'll see you really soon with more videos you guys take care and adios